Welcome back to another edition of Simply Made Cocktails. I'm Eric Thoreau. Tom Jones. And we're here for a Monday review. And this time, we are going to review something really tasty. Tasty. It should be something tasty. Root beer. Oh, yes. Uncle Bob. Uncle, Uncle Bob's, Bob's root beer. Again. But not just any root beer. This is root beer whiskey. We, you're probably wondering why would we taste you know taste soda it's not your daddy's typical root beer no it's right here uncle bob's root beer flavored whiskey it's 35 percent abv or 70 proof so it contains caramel color caramel caramel we're at, again outside enjoying this nice weather while we have it and it's you know hot it's probably like what in the low 90s here. probably probably so and notice we're still using tin. So this time we know. Last time we had a little bit of jittery on the the table here. So we put things down. So we'll be yes. a little bit more cautious about things. We will be cautious. So get the brand new. Oh wow! Does it smell like root beer? Yeah. Whoa! Nice. Wow. That's like a. Mug old fashioned root beer or something, or dad's root beer, uncle's root beer, Uncle Bob's, Uncle Bob coming from Bar gotta love Uncle Bob. He always is the guy with the root beer. When mom and dad says no root beer when you're kids, Uncle Bob sneaks you a little bit of Uncle Bob's whiskey to shut you up. Yep. Oh man, you know what? I could smell it as I was pouring it. Yeah, it really makes a difference in these schnifters. Oh, great. We're back These at it, you know. Snickers. You know we're back. We're officially back when he does that, and yep. we we also have to say that we're taking a stand on um, having any vodka from Smirnoff on the show because of the way he likes to say Smirnoff too. Smirnoff. Well, now you say it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Smirnoff. So, see, it's got nice nice coloring to it. Yes, man, not bad, Bob. I always love this uncle. He's one of my favorite uncles. I get more of the root beer notes than I get any of the whiskey notes. But I do get some slight of the, the oak. I think oak and root beer, you know, the two different kinds. That's very loving. They would go together pretty well. Let's, let's this would it. make a, you know what this would make a good? I'll try it before a little bit a of water. Scratch and sniff sticker. Can you say that again? <laughs> scratch and sniff sticker. Okay. Took me a little while, huh? Yeah. And you know, like a, uh, a car uh, deodorant. You know, car deodorant. Yeah. I think if anything, if you would be stuck in your car, like if you're stuck in a, a two-hour commute or something on, on the way to work, and that's all you, you're smelling for the whole day, you're gonna be hungry, big time when you get to work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try it without trying the water you know, first. The only scary thing about this is, if it smells as, if it tastes as good as it smells, then uh, we're definitely in trouble here, huh? Yes, definitely. I'll put, lock, I'll put this bottle on lock and chain. Woo! Pappy. That's strong. But once uh, your internal organs start numbing up... Well, I don't know, but I don't know for you, but the, for me, this is the first sip of alcohol, so I always try to give it a second chance. But yeah, I, it went down smooth. Did you put any water in yours? No. Did you? No. I want to. I want to do. I normally do, and we will do it just to get the the break of the two judgments to the two types. But I wanted to try out straight first. Oh yeah. Just something have, about root beer. I have my root beer straight. I started doing that a long time ago. That's what she said. I know we started it out. These shows again. I think both you and I. We have to get back warmed up, right? Yeah. To, you know, into like the right level. Sarcasm. I'm getting like that's really dangerous. I don't get any whiskey. Oh really? Oh, I get whiskey. Not at least not the ethanol portion of the whiskey. I get more of the oak. No, I get like whoa. Um, high school dance punch spiked root beer spiked. What, what high school did you go to? Um, Can I go to a reunion? <laughs> Oak Grove. Oak Grove. 
Oh, that's right. You you went there with all the, the celebrity football players from the Sabercats. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, uh, Hungry. Mike Hungry. Yes, I know. And, of course, uh, Mike Holgren? Brent Jones' dad. He worked there. But Brent Mike, Jones' dad used to... Uh, Mike Holgren went to City. Huh? He went to San Francisco or Lincoln High School. No, he went to uh, uh, Oak Grove, too. Oh, okay. I think that by adding the water, if you put some little bit of water in it, it brings out more of the whiskey, and it, cover, it sort of covers up the, the root beer flavoring. The asperilla. The what? I can't say that right. The sarsaparilla? Uh, uh, Are you uh, trying to say sarsaparilla? Asper, sas, sarsaparilla. I kept on saying ass. That's because if you're drunk, then it's asparilla. Yeah, but the, we're drunk not drunk. Your asparilla. We're not drunk. Yeah, I know. This is our first drink, believe it or not. Our jokes are going to probably get better in the next uh, review, I'm thinking. Possibly. That's in next week. We're just a little too sober right now. Yeah, that brings out the that brings out the alcohol and the whiskey. You know the Dr. Jekyll, and Mr. Hyde. But I think I think this is smooth. This is a it's nice. It's good though. It's good. It's it's definitely not a root beer that you uh, drink, 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 drink like chug. Oh, yeah. well, you got to hear this. This is a a little story here they have on here on their bottle. Oh, cool. It says as the legend goes, Uncle Bob came from humble beginnings, growing up ne near the New Hampshire coast in the 1920s. First, I didn't think New Hampshire had a coast. I um, I think it's... I thought it was um, like Boston's over, in the over way. Over here. You know, Massachusetts in the way, whatever. They moved to Boston. Yeah. So they could have the tea party. Yeah. As the youngest of four and struggling to help the family make ends meet, Uncle Bob found his passion by bootlegging his own whiskey. He had something unique, a special stash of American whiskey combined with a secret flavor recipes. Many of the locals said he was a prodigy on the verge of genius. This notoriety may, however, have led to his mysterious disappearance. Really? Some say... Bob? Yeah, he disappeared. They, they haven't found him. No wonder he doesn't write. Why do you think there's no picture with him on here? Jeez, come on, Bob. So He's my favorite uncle, too. Some say he... I thought no was your favorite uncle. Well... <laughs> sorry, no. <laughs> you, you were my favorite uncle, too. But before we, but now that we lost Bob, then you're you're definitely my favorite uncle. So I'll say he never we didn't existed. Lose his nose, did we? Huh? His nose still? Yeah, he's still with us. Okay, good. He so, but this is your answer to why we why you, Uncle Bob is not your favorite anymore. Okay. Because some say that he never existed. <laughs> that you know what? That's why I really um, I, I'm advising people to not get uncles over the internet. Because half the time, you think it's an uncle, it's not an uncle, it's an aunt. Yeah, but however, papers have recently surfaced with mash bills and whiskey recipes from those early bootlegging days. It is in the spirit of Uncle Bob that this legendary whiskey is being shared with you. Well, you know what? I say let's tip our hats to Uncle Bob. He may have never existed, but you know what? As, sure. lo as long as he keeps making some good root beer whiskey... We're, this we're, is great stuff. Go. Yeah. Yeah, this is good, actually. Sarsaparilla, you can get that, but it's not too overpowering. Yeah. Now, I, I've had to get used to this over the last couple of minutes, and now that my internal organs are getting all numb, <laughs> it's actually starting to uh, be, be be uh, good. What? Be, be, I was going to say be bearable. <laughs> He's cut off already. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I don't, I don't, what is the proof of this? Like 35. A, like 120 proof, 180 proof? <laughs> it's not ever clear. Everclear. Isn't that the stuff you used to put on your face for uh, acne? I think they have that too. They put that stuff in the uh, alcohol? Well, Everclear is its own alcohol. Oh, see, that's probably what it got. It's 190 proof. After a while, people stopped using it and then they decided, Let's, what else can we do with this? Well, because it's pure alcohol, it'll burn your skin. <laughs> that's how it gets rid of the, 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 the zits. So that's how they do it, huh? <laughs> No, I'm not a, a dermatologist. Yeah, he's like, I'm not a zit. <laughs> I think dermatologist is kind of a big word. Yeah, especially after Uncle Bob's uh, Uncle Bob beer. But yeah, we want to thank the people, actually, Uncle Bob. Actually, it was good. I first saw our buddy uh, Peter Irera of Spirit Cocktails. He's part of our Epic Happy Hour Network. And he actually reviewed it on his show. 
And he said that he basically came across it somehow on Instagram feed, and he reached out to them to do review, and they sent him a bottle. And I saw him reviewing it. And I said that looks like something pretty interesting, root beer. And I know root beer is like the the sort of flavor of the of the year right now, being infused with all things like you know plain beer is being root beer beer, and then root beer whiskey. I'm yeah. sure there's going to be root beer vodka too coming out soon if there isn't already somebody out there making it. But this is great stuff. You know, and talking about vodka, that leads us to next week. Our review next week is going to be a special premium vodka, um, Belvedere vodka. We're going to be reviewing that next week. Yeah. So be on the lookout for that. And then, of course, we'll have a special cocktail, a Belvedere vodka featured cocktail. So uh, that, that Tom's going to like mixing with. So, all right. So this has been a review of Uncle Bob's root beer flavored whiskey. It's 35% ABV or 70 proof. Um, I think you could get this um, around for probably around, I'll say around thirty dollars. So it's it's a it's actually it doesn't really matter what price you get it at. You know it's it's a good buy and it, it's something different to have in your in your library of whiskeys. Yes. So and you know if true whiskey drinkers or true bourbon drinkers, you know, say that ain't real whiskey and all that stuff because it's infused. But there's other infused whiskeys that are out there like Fireball. It's not really an infused whiskey. It's more of a, a whiskey liqueur. You know, you got like t- Kentucky Fire, which is more of infused bourbon, and you got Jack Daniels Tennessee Fire, which is infused, and all that stuff, maple, and all that stuff. So, so this is one to definitely add to your collection, and I think the price the price margin on it is pretty fair. Um, so I'm sure we'll have it definitely down down in the description of the video, of the the price margin of it, and where you could get it at. It's relatively a new brand out there, so it's making their ways. They're making their ways definitely. And I think I just saw an announcement today on, on Instagram saying that that Uncle Bob's was at the official Oktoberfest in, in Munich, Germany. Say that again? The official Oktoberfest. No, say Munich, Germany again? Munich, Germany. Oh, okay. Alaman. So, here you go. Prost. Jeff Prost. Remember to drink smart, drink responsibly, and we'll see you on Wednesday for Cocktail Wednesday. Apple computer. We're not talking about Apple computer or 